welcome again to Zita Cita de Café. Today I would like to present and review with you a book that could serve as a complementary information uh, to your Lenormand studies. The book is called The Game of Destiny, Fortune Telling with Lenormand Cards from Mario Dos Ventos. Mario Dos Ventos is from Brazil. He lives actually in the United Kingdom. And I choose this book especially among a large number of options because it is very well structured and it is also easy to understand for my clients who are not very uh, good English speakers. So let's see what we have here. The Game of Destiny. Uh, what I absolutely adore about this book is that Mario Dos Ventos um, gives a great tribute to Marianne Adelaire Lenormand talking about her background, her history and he also talks about the game of destiny. Uh, some of you may remember that in my blog in www.tacitadecafe.net you can find um, some information about the game of destiny or the game of hope. You actually can print copy the instruction for this game in my blog section, please feel free. And we learn here from Mario Dos Ventos that um, there is an ex-student, Madame Bertro, who says that uh, she has been learning Lenormand with Mademoiselle Lenormand and after her death she decided to uh, made up a deck with 54 cards, uh, Lenormand cards, including astrological symbols and deceptions of um, Greek and Roman myths and legends. So you can still order this uh, deck, Madame Bertrand uh, did, and um, it's called today the Petit Lenormand, or also the Gypsy deck. And I think it's a good option and it's also a lot of fun to play for a while the game of destiny. So let's see what has Mario Dos Santos to offer. We have here the section of the cards and that is very, very useful because he gave it a great structure. We have always the explanation, a picture of the card. Here we have the number one. This is the Cavalier or the Nine of Hearts or as it is called in other decks, the rider, or in Spanish, uh, el jinete. So he gives a general meaning of the card itself. And then he does all possible options with the rider or the cavalier. Actually, he mentions in the introdu introduction of his book that there is an, the possibility to do like about 1,260 different combinations, card combinations. So, as you can imagine, there is a lot to study, there is a lot to memorize. But don't worry, because uh, this book is really an excellent guideline. Here we have the clover or the six of diamonds. With the six of diamonds, of course, he refers to this image in the center of the card. Please remember that not all Lenormand cards have these um, images here. There are some Lenin cards which only want to show us the um, complete image, like for example the Dust Bunny Lenormand. Again, the general meaning, the combinations for this card and the rest of the 36 different cards from Lenormand. And yes, well, it's easy to understand. There is no confusion. He doesn't um, give uh, three, four, five or six different options for one card. So the only thing is you definitely need to learn the basic meanings and then these combinations he mentions here would be very good additional uh, knowledge. What else do we have in this book? We have another section that's called additional combinations and special meanings. Uh, I like these sections because uh, Mario Dos Santos leaves it very clearly. There is a basic meaning for each card, but there's also some mystical meaning. He refers here to the gypsies. He has learned a lot from them. 
and um, he likes to do these different combinations. So we find in this section uh, the cards which indicate times or seasons from the year. He talks about different relationships combinations as well as work and employment, the friendship and two other very important aspects are the financial matters and of course the health. And then after this we have the part where we can learn different spreads. Um, as an example, he starts this section with the Grand Tableau, the GT, where he uses four lines of eight cards. And at the bottom we have four cards, number 33 to 36. There, but my students know there is also the other options where we can use only four lines, each line with nine cards. Good, then we have a new spread here, that's the Moreau spread, very interesting. It's really worth to get that book and uh, to practice a little bit with Mario dos Santos. Finally, um, in this book he uh, adds a special section that he names the um, other work activities. Um, some of you may know that Mario dos Santos also is um, initiated in a cult. So his section part three, other aspects of the work, uh, is very, very interesting. Also, if you are not into cults, it's really worth to give it a reading, to uh, be open-minded, and it's always interesting to learn a little bit more. He includes in this section some receipts, very, very nice. And uh, for example, the blessing of the deck, that's also something I teach my, my students, but this is another option. Okay, so all in all, I like really to suggest to include this book from Mario Dos Ventos in your library, in your personal library. It's an excellent option to improve your knowledge, to keep learning, to be a better card reader, a better Lenormand card reader. And if you like to order the book, by the way, it's not available uh, like this in the bookstore. You need to order it. And the special thing about this book is it's printed especially for you. So if you need any assistance, please feel free to contact Tacita de Café. You can send me a message in www.tacitadecafé.net.